All right, guys, so we're gonna cover two things in this video. Um, this is video seven of my drunk YouTube day. Uh, so I didn't think I'd get to seven, so this is awesome. Um, but this is a good one. I've built these tools a while ago, and I use them all the time. But first, take a listen. Uh, so we're gonna start with just a single note, and it turns into a lot, you'll hear. <laughs> So we'll talk a little bit about how I made that, like all the notes out of the notes, but the first thing I want to show you is what happens when I tilt this knob. All right, so this is basically making the high notes have more velocity and the low notes have less velocity. Um, and I literally did it by having uh, 128 chains, one for each of the notes, right? And then the mappings of this kind of look like this. Um, and so they just get more severe as you crank the knob all the way up for the very high and very low notes. Um, so you can reverse engineer it. I'm mostly just going to give this to you. I use it all the time. Um, and there's actually other ways you can shape these things, right? So you can actually tilt. Um, let me just hide this for you, but you can actually tilt uh, the bottoms up, right, the tops down and stuff, and that actually also happens in different amounts for the low notes versus the high notes, depending. Um, cool, so let's get into this. Uh, oh, there's also one for the note length, how long the notes are, so check this. <laughs> If we actually um, take off these additional arpeggiators, uh, this is just, it'll be easier to hear, but this is gonna make the long or the low notes longer and the high notes shorter, and then this will do the opposite. So you can hear how long those high tails are. Let me turn up the high velocities. All right, and then as we, much shorter and this will have longer notes so a lot of times you want shorter high notes because they're quicker moving and longer bass notes um, but sometimes you might want it the opposite so this will tilt that um, these shift tilt centers this will basically um, shift where it thinks the center is by subtracting out pitch at the beginning of the chain and adding that pitch back in at the end of the chain um, so if you shifted this this would be adding pitch in the beginning so all the notes are higher right and so if you're tilting uh, to make high notes shorter this is basically gonna cause everything to become shorter by tilting this up right this would make everything longer by making everything lower cool so yeah this shifts the tilt center um, that's all I really wanted to show you about these tools. They're super useful, right? Right, all these stabs are very different character. Um, and you, you want to get that balance right. And you, you don't really want to do it with EQ. You want to do it with the players playing at the right volume, right? And so even though all of this is exactly the same velocity, right, we could spread this across the pitches. And then we could also, like, say, accent certain ones harder and other ones quieter. And then that will also carry through to all the different pitches. Um, so they'll all get accented, but they'll still be spl spread out based off of this knob. Uh, so if you're curious how I achieved this, from a single note, uh, let's just follow this chain. So first, this is just splitting into octaves, right? This right here, all it is is, this is making it a triad, but only for the high notes. Things get too muddy if you try and make triads down here generally, um, but since I'm arpeggiating through, it wouldn't be too bad. But when it's a big stab, like all the notes together, it's just gonna get too muddy if I add thirds here. So this just adds fifths, like one semitone, or seven semitones up. This one doesn't add anything. So any notes that are this low don't get anything. They just go straight through. And that's um, pretty much classical orchestration kind of stuff there. You don't want, 
you, you can't have your notes too close when they're low or else they, they fight too much, right? Phase cancel, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you can, right? You're just not, unless it's what you want is to have those kinds of results, you're not gonna like them. So then I'm just stabbing at every half bar. Um, that's all this is. And then the, a lot of the magic happens here. So this is taking the low notes that come in and it's going to go through this pattern um, which we could change just for the low notes at eighth notes. This is like a counter melody, which is playing random and it's playing an octave down from this at eighth notes, right? So we've got this on this bass line. Right, and then we've got this. Right up here, and so together we get. All right, so we've got this higher one that's going faster, and then everything else is going in eighth notes to keep from getting too busy and add some difference. And then this is correcting all the notes at the end. Um, so some of these, like in this, basically these triads, right? These plus fours. Some of them should be minor triads. So this is just correcting the wrong notes. And besides that, you know. Um, I just wanted to show you this tool, give it to you in the comments, um, cap off this awesome day of seven YouTube videos and lots of drinking. Um, and yeah, I, like I said, I use this tool all the time. Uh, it's super useful. You need, in general, you want to make like, here, let's ask you, just show you the output of some of this. All right, so. <laughs> So you can see these low notes are longer, which is often what you want, and um, there's not much of a oops, not much of a velocity difference because I didn't shift this knob, right? If I had, and we wanted lower notes, then we get this kind of thing. <laughs> You can see the velocity differences and those will be high velocities for low notes and low velocities for high notes all right love you guys um check the comments for this um if you like build this in bitwig or something please share it with the community if you make any badass loops or something with it please share it with the community i'm trying to put together a sample pack um maybe for a thousand subscribers it has inputs from all of you guys um so yeah send stuff in all right love you all peace